What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing my full review of the Chili Pad after owning it for a year. I'll go over how it works, if it's worth the money, and how it compares to the Uller. And stick around to the very end for my top money saving tip for this device. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into it, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So let's start with the basics. What is the Chili Pad and how does it work? Now, if you already have a good handle on this, I've included timestamps in the description below so you can jump ahead to some of my other points. So simply put, the Chili Pad is a lightweight mattress pad that uses water to either heat up or cool down your bed. So here's a quick breakdown of how it works. You first slide the mattress pad under your sheets. At one end of the pad are tubes that connect to these small cubes. You fill up these cubes with water and then you set the temperature to whatever you like. Anywhere from 55 degrees to 115 degrees Fahrenheit. And since there are two sides, you can adjust the temperature of your partners to be different from your own. So for anyone living in a tiny apartment, the cube is only about a foot wide, so it really doesn't take up that much space. Now, of course, there are a lot of other devices in the market that do similar things like the BedJet 3. But many of them, like the BedJet 3, actually use air instead of water water to regulate the temperature. So why does this matter? Well, with water, you're actually able to keep the temperature significantly warmer or cooler. Now the chili pad gets down to 55 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the bed jet three only gets down to 66 degrees. And on a night when it is sweltering in the middle of summer, that 11 degree difference, trust me, it makes a huge difference. So now you may be asking yourself, well, why does thermal regulation even matter when it comes to sleep? As I've mentioned so many times before on this channel, it's not about the quantity of sleep that you get, but it really comes down to the quality. In fact, there are specific neurons in your brain that act like a sleep switch, and those are regulated by temperature. So when you lower your core body temperature at night, this can have a significant impact on not only the time it takes to go to sleep, but also your deep sleep and your body's ability to recover. The team over at ChiliPad actually partnered with Aura Ring on a clinical trial, and they found that on average, participants who used the ChiliPad woke up 25% less frequently from night sweats and were 40% less likely to have trouble going back to sleep if they woke up before their normal wake time. Now, there are actually several more findings from this research, and so I'll link the study in the show notes below if you guys wanna go and check it out. So now that we've covered how it works, let's move on to the pros and cons. Pro number one, you can still use your weighted blanket. So as I mentioned earlier, I've had this device for over a year. I've used it a little bit less during the winter, but boy, when the summer rolls around, this thing is a godsend. Now, I personally love to sleep with a weighted blanket, and this device actually makes it possible to do basically all year round. Now, nothing is worse than waking up in a pool of sweat in the middle of summer and then just not being able to go back to sleep. And well, with this device, that just doesn't happen for me anymore. Pro number two, it is a very easy setup. You just plug it in, fill up the water tank, and hit go. It honestly doesn't get much easier than that. And to be honest, you don't even have to change the water all that often. I mean, we're able to go like five, sometimes even seven nights without having to refill the water. So that is a huge plus. And pro number three, it is great for couples. Not only is the chili pad really comfortable and you don't even realize you're sleeping on anything, but it's also great for temperature regulation between two partners. Now I tend to run a little bit colder than Jasper, so I set my side of the bed to be a slight bit warmer than his. And so it is really designed for maximum optimal comfort for both people in the bed, regardless of your temperature preferences. And now we move on to the cons. Number one, it's a little slow to start. So it does take a little bit of time, I'd say like maybe 20 to 30 minutes for this thing to actually kick on and either cool down or warm up your bed. It is definitely not instantaneous. But of course there are ways around this and you can set reminders to put the machine on before you go to bed so it is perfectly cool by the time you go under your sheets. Number two, white noise. So you do hear some residual noise coming from the fan of the motor 
as well as some of the water circulating within the mattress pad itself. I personally don't mind it because I do like to sleep with a little bit of white noise in the background anyway, but if you're someone who prefers dead silence when you sleep, you might want to look at some other options like just a basic cooling mattress itself without any apparatuses attached. And then finally, number three comes the price. And I will get to whether or not I think it's actually worth the money in just a second, but the cheapest option for a single sleeper is gonna set you back about 500 and you're looking at anywhere between that and 1200 for a king size that fits two. Now there is another option on the market with a very similar design called the Cool Buddy, and that only costs 150. Not entirely sure how they do that, and I haven't had a chance to try it out because they are currently sold out completely. So now we come to the pricing issue and whether or not I think the chili pad is actually worth the money. Now for me personally, I would say a hands down yes. And the reason being is that for me, what I get from the chili pad is consistency in my sleep quality, regardless of what time of year it is. And this is especially important in the summer months when my sleep tends to tank because of the heat. Now we've had some of the warmest nights of the year in just the past six weeks. And what I've seen from my Aura Ring data after using the chili pad is that my deep sleep has stayed pretty consistent. And in fact, my REM scores have actually continued to climb despite the heat. Now, even if we keep a fan on or have the AC running, my body still tends to overheat because of the blankets if I'm not using the chili pad. So it's that consistent cooling from within the bed that really makes all the difference. Now, the single cube itself is not huge. It's gonna take up less than a foot, but two of them together and you're starting to look at it taking up a little bit more space. So definitely a factor to consider if you have a very small bedroom to work with. Plus, you're gonna need about six inches of space around each cube for the fan to actually vent out warm air. Now, looking at one of the Chili Pad's biggest competitors, and I'd say that's probably the BedJet 3, you're looking to pay around the same price to get the whole thing set up. But the BedJet 3 does have some unique features, like a timer, which allows you to turn off the air in the middle of the night. And according to most of the reviews I read, the BedJet 3 does a much better job at cooling down or heating up faster than the chili pad. But really the biggest difference between the two is this idea of air versus water. And we ultimately went with the water route because we wanted to achieve the coldest temperature you possibly can while sleeping. And so far it is proven to work for us. Now, if you're willing to shell out even more for a more complex system, then I would look at the eight pod sleep pro, which starts at around $2,500. Now this is a full mattress pad. It has all sorts of bells and whistles and HRV tracking. Haven't had the pleasure to try it myself, but my good friend Shervin at Shervin Shares Peak Performance did a full review of it. So you guys should check that out if you're interested. I will link it below for you in the show notes. So finally we come to the big decision, chili pad versus the newer Uller. And probably the biggest difference between the two is timer functionality. Yes, the Uller is a little bit smaller, it's more modern, a little bit more sleek, yada yada. But I will tell you that we did a heck of a lot of research before buying the chili pad. And what it really comes down to is that for a difference of $200, the chili pad doesn't have a timer, the Uller does. Now there's a couple more features that the Uller has and I'll link it below for you guys if you wanna check out the full specs. But for me, that was the biggest difference between the two. But there is a DIY hack that can actually help you save about $200 if you do go with the chili pad. And it might seem really, really simple, but we got a $20 timer off Amazon. I'll obviously link it for you guys below if you wanna go check that out. This timer can be programmed to turn power on and off at certain times of the day. It's really simple to program, has two plugs for both sides of the bed and delivers a similar result to the Uller for a heck of a lot less money. So as a result, we're able to use our chili pad and Amazon timer to actually have the cold go off around 3 a.m. And we chose this time because we both actually started consistently waking up between three and four a little bit too cold from the mattress pad. And incidentally, this is also the time when I usually start entering into my REM cycle, at least according to my Aura Ring, 
So maybe there is a correlation there. So my final, final thoughts are this. If you have trouble going to sleep or waking up too hot, then I would say it might be worth an investment in something like the Chili Pad. After having it for over a year, I can really see the difference in my Aura Ring scores, especially when mercury starts to rise. Plus it's really comfortable. We haven't had any issues with the white noise. We haven't had any issues with the machine itself. It has not broken down on us yet. Now, of course, there are a lot of other options out there, and I encourage you to explore and see what might fit into your budget. But I will say that the team at Chili Pad has been working on this since 2007, and I think what they've produced is a product that is just really well worth the money. And hey, if you're on a budget, skip the Uller and just buy a $20 timer and hook it up yourself. And if you do, please let me know how that goes for you. I would love to get your thoughts, your feedback, and of course, you can always hit me up in the comment section below or on my DM at Katie Type A. If you have any products you want me to review, any ideas, I'd love to hear from you guys. Also, shameless side note plug, I just started a newsletter and I am so excited about it. So if you want a weekly dose of my favorite biohacks in your inbox, then you can just click the link below or head over to katietypea.com and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, if you learned something, please make sure to give it to you a big thumbs up. And if you are not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. And I can't wait to see you on the next one.